Hi Funkies! It's me, Mara, from The Funky Spark. Do you notice anything different? Well, in case you weren't following me, my husband and I recently moved. We are in a new city, a new place, and therefore we have a new kitchen. It is cozy and it is adorable and it is amazing when it comes to cooking and just having a great time in the kitchen. I'm going to show you how to make, prepare, and bake mouth-watering spicy honey-baked chicken thighs. The honey that I'm going to use is actually more of a spicy brand, but if you don't have a spicy honey, you'll be a-okay. If you want to learn how to make this particular dish, stay tuned and I'll show you how. So one of the most important components of this chicken dish is the marinade. You can't have a flavorful mouth-watering dish without a little punch of flavor. So I'm gonna show you what's in it. First of all, this is a general marinade that you can use for any type of meat or protein, whether that's chicken, pork, or even tofu, or an alternative plant-based protein of your choice. And also, I'm going to go ahead and put the measurements below so you can adjust according to the quantity of people you will be cooking for. First thing I'm going to add is chili powder. Now this particular chili powder is one that I got in New Mexico, and this is a more mild chili powder, but if you and your family happens to love spicier dishes, you can definitely get a spicier type of chili powder, so it's definitely going to depend on your liking. Also going to use garlic powder for this dish, but if you wanna use fresh garlic, that's great as well. The marinade will also have honey mustard. Now you can use a table mustard or a honey Dijon mustard. Either one will be great. We're not using salt in this particular dish because the vinegar component of this recipe is really going to make up for any kind of salt you're going to need. So this is going to naturally be a low sodium dish. And what is a spicy honey baked chicken dish without honey? Now this particular brand is Mike's Hot Honey. This is not sponsored in any way, but this was actually one that I got from a local store in Plant City called The Corner Store. I'll link their information below, but this is a really great honey because it's sweet, but also has a nice little bit of spice to it. Nothing that's too hot that you can't enjoy, but we're gonna mix all these components together. Now, I'm going to take my well rinsed chicken thigh and puncture lots of holes so that the marinade can get well absorbed not just into the skin but into the meat itself now i'm going to take my punctured chicken and add it to the marinade mixture now that the chicken is with the marinade mixture, I wanna go ahead and just really massage the chicken into the marinade and make sure that everything is well combined. Now I'm going to take my chicken, cover it, and let it marinate in my fridge for an hour, and then I'll be back. And now for the baking time. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I have my pan and I lightly greased it with some cooking spray. If you have cooking oil and non-cooking spray, you can use that too. Now what I'm going to do is take my chicken. As you can see here, here's my amazing fully marinated chicken thigh. And the next step I'm going to do is place the chicken thigh on this pan. Now we're going to put this very tasty chicken in the oven. Now we're going to allow this to bake for about 35 to 40 minutes or really until the internal temperature is at 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we wait. Okay everyone, it smells so amazing. I'm just really excited. It has almost like a, you can kind of smell that honey as everything was baking, the kitchen was smelling like honey, the living room was, oh man, it was great. I also um, did a very simple saute of some green beans with a little 
salt and cracked pepper and a little garlic powder just to really balance this meal out. But let's go ahead and give this a try. Oh, that looks amazing. Mm. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. You can definitely taste the um, sweetness of the honey, but it's not too overpowering. It mixes beautifully with that garlic powder and the honey mustard, which also gives us a little bit of a tang. And it's just excellent. It's awesome. I know 4th of July is coming up. Um, so if you're looking for something to make for 4th of July or really just any kind of occasion that you want to make special, I would definitely consider making this spicy honey baked chicken thigh. You and your family are gonna love it. I promise you. Well, folks, that's all I have for now. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this delicious meal with my husband. If you like any of my content, go ahead and press that big fat like button, hit that notifications bell, and if you're looking for fun, quirky, easy, budget-friendly recipes for you and your family, hit that subscribe button. And this recipe is also on www.thefunkyspork.com, which is my blog site. I will definitely link that below. Well, folks, I hope you have a fantastic week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. Your support will mean the world to me. Thank you.